Okay, today we will start chapter 4 CPU scheduling. It is a part of operating system. CPU scheduler is responsible for number 1 removal of running process from the CPU, selection of the next running process based on a particular strategy. Learning so what are those strategies? strategies? First, see Before, what are the goals for a scheduler. Okay. The goal of a scheduler is to maximize CPU utilization, that is keep the CPU as busy as possible. Throughput. Throughput means the number of processes completed per unit time. Minimize response time, wait time and turnaround time. A response time, the time of submission to the time to the first response is produced. Wait time, total time spent waiting in the ready queue. Turnaround time, the time of submission to the time of completion. We have to minimize all these times. Suppose we have processes A, B and C submitted at time 0. We want to know the response time, waiting time and turn around time of process A. Response time of process A is 0 because it has got CPU at time 0. Wait time at times whatever here I have drawn it is addition of different parts when A is executing that is not calculated in wait time when A is waiting that time is calculated as wait time turnaround time it is a total time when your process comes in and terminates that is called as turnaround time suppose okay, response time wait time and turnaround time okay it is for process B for process C what is the response time the time taken by A and B before C was executing for the first time will be response time for C wait time again you are seeing on the screen turnaround time it is the highest now to achieve the goals for the scheduler there are a few obstacles which we are going to see in the next lecture till then goodbye thank you